they will want their money. Whether it's store man, whether it's gambling, whatever. I've seen a lot of fights over gambling. And that blade pushed a lot. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a Hello, everybody. Harvey Talks Prison here. I want to talk about debt. And this was uh, over a conversation that I had where people was thinking that it's a myth that you get in trouble over that. First of all, don't ever go to prison. Avoid all of that. But if you do go to prison, one of the things you got to avoid is getting in debt. I mean, it's just that simple. And, uh, because they will want their money back. And a lot of people will go to the store man saying, oh, my money's coming. And they're wondering why the store man won't loan them any money. And that's because you can't count on money coming from the streets. Something could happen. They have to pay something out there instead of sending you money. And then you're in trouble. They will want their money. Whether it's store man, whether it's gambling, whatever I've seen a lot of fights over gambling and that blade pushed a lot you know it's it's dangerous getting in debt and a lot of times when you're gambling if you're new if you've been there for a while you kind of know what's going on but if you're new and you get in a poker game a lot of times there'll be three of them working against you now, they're either going to be trying to get your money or they may be trying to get something else. I've seen it where the guys have went in debt and they had the money. Or they had some of it or whatever. And the person said, well, I, I don't want commissary. I don't want money on my account or whatever. This is what I want. And, he, you know, the backside. The cheeks. There was one young guy that came in. I think I told this story. And me and some others was telling him not to run up a debt. And he was going to the store, man, and he was gambling. And he was paying a lot. Don't get me, don't get it wrong. He had money coming in. A lot of money. But then he was he was gambling and something happened and his people couldn't send money for a little bit and so he owed this money. So then he tried going to the store man. The store man actually loaned him some. He was able to pay that back. You, you know, he was able to pay the gambling thing. But then he owed the, the store man and the store man is with interest. Most times it's two for one. Like if you give a, you go and get a, a bag of coffee, you gotta pay two back. Some people, they'll do one and a half. Like if they're cool with you or something. And they'll do one and a half. Or, and some of them, that's just what they do is one and a half because they're trying to undercut somebody else. And that's another thing. I've seen fights with two store men in the same wing and fighting because you know they're in competition but this guy kept going and finally he he couldn't pay his debt and uh or at least not on time and the guy says well this is what i was, I was told you know he, this is how you're going to settle the debt and um he didn't want to do that, you know, and, and it's one of these things where you can just tell the guy's beat and deal with the consequences, but it's going to be paid one way or another, and uh, it's not you get in a fight and it's squashed, no, you still owe that debt, in most cases, but anyway, so this guy tells him, this is how you can settle the debt. And 
I, I guess this went on for a little bit, arguing and stuff. And uh, next thing you know, you see him going off in the guy's cell. You know, you seen the little thing go up over the window so that um, uh, nobody could look in or anything. And after a while, he came out, and you could just see it in his face. You know, he's just, I don't know how to describe the look in his face, but it was just, I, I've seen it on others too. But basically having his manhood taken, you know. And, it, and not only that, the guy who did it had to be kind of cocky about it because he comes out smiling, hands on his hips, you know, like he's adjusting his clothes and stuff. It, it's just... These things happen, and I don't... It, to me, you know, it, it's done on purpose. Most of it is. The whole, the whole point of you... Getting that guy in debt was so that you could do that to him. Otherwise, you wouldn't have done it. I've seen any type of debt. Store man, the store man is not going to, if he loans you something and you don't pay him back, he's going to want it paid back. Because if he don't, he's going, if you don't pay him back and he doesn't, you know, he keeps putting it off and off on you, you know, giving you a chance. He's going to... He's going to look bad if he, he, if he doesn't do anything, you know. So he has to. He has to do something. You will pay that debt one way or another. Even if he doesn't want to do something, he has to do something. I've seen that happen too, you know. A guy, he was pretty good at paying his debts, but uh, he got where he, money didn't come in the week he wanted it to. And the guy says, all right, I'll, I'll give you another week. You know, he's cool with him. He shouldn't have gave him that other week. You know, because people was already kind of looking at him like, what? You didn't give me another week. You made me pay on time. But he gave this guy another week. And um, the guy still didn't have any money. And so he went and, and into the guy's cell and, and took what little things he had and, and beat him. And, um, He tells me later, um, and I didn't talk to the guy that much, the, the store man that much. You know, I, I knew him, and I talked to him, but I didn't talk to him that much. But apparently this was on his mind. because He came to me and a couple other. others, he said, man, I did not want to do that, man. That's a good guy, man. That's a good kid. And uh, he said, but I couldn't let that go. And um, the guy with me said, yeah, you shouldn't have given him that extra week, man, because people are kind of in the feelings because you've never given them another week, you know, more time. But this guy, you gave another week, and so they're, they're kind of pissed about that. And uh, he goes, man, I just, I feel bad, you know, and uh, I said, well, you know, you, you had to do what you had to do, you know, it's he goes, and he still owes me some. He goes, I got a little things from him here and there, you know, when I went in his cell. But uh, he goes, I got a fan from him. He goes, I already got a fan. He goes, I had to turn around and sell that. But, yeah, we could have fans in ourselves. It used to be we could have these big ones, and then they got these little ones that later on that you, like, clip on this, you know. You need to be fans. Clip them onto your bunk. This other story, this guy basically just told the guy he was beat. He went to the store man. He didn't think the store man was going to do anything. 
and um, so he went to he, he ran up this debt and then told him he's beat and that ended up all bad for him because the store man didn't take care of himself he had a guy for that and he sent that guy to him and I, and, and yeah, I mean it was all bad uh, real bad I had a Sally who had a store oh and out in Virginia I think they're called store boxes but here we we say store for the store and, and, and store man for the person running the store I had a Sally who had a, ran a store and he got transferred and he left the store to me and uh I did not like it, and for the simple fact is, I felt like I was working all the time, you know? You know all these people coming, I can't even watch a movie, man, without somebody coming, let me get a soda from... You gotta be patient if you're a store man. I can tell you that right now, because every few minutes somebody running up, hey man, let me get this, let me get that. That got on my nerves. But anyway, he left it to me, and I had it for like four months, maybe. I gave it to somebody else. <laughs> I gave it to somebody who didn't have a lot of money and told him, here, you can make money. You, you can have canteen and stuff, as long as you don't eat it all up. But one time during that four months, there was a guy in another wing, and he didn't... He tried to tell me, you know, he was going to say that I was beat. And I sent word over to him, you know, hey, you know, you got my stuff. I should have never loaned it to another wing anyway. And he sent the guy back, and the guy said, man, the dude says you're beat, you know, you want me to take care of that? I said, no. I said, I got it. Well, one of my partners worked in laundry and passed out laundry to all the wings. And he could get volunteers to help him. And I, I told him what was going on. I told him I need the volunteer to go over the, you know, so I can go over there. He goes, I'm going in there with you. And uh, I said, well, you don't have to. And um, so we went over there. And we went into the guy's cell. And... He was a surprise. He goes, oh, man, oh, man, uh, I was going to pay you. He goes, I was just joking with him. I said, no, you're paying me right now. And load up that laundry bag. So I got my money back from them. But that's just the things you got to deal with, you know. And please, if you don't go to prison. I don't know what is going on around here. I'm a little paranoid. But... If you do go to prison, the number one thing is don't get in debt. Stay away from the debt, you know. Go without before going to the store, man. Don't get into the gambling. You can play spades or something, but don't be playing poker. All right, that's all I got for you, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Dreaming in the dark We are nothing more than dust